Welcome to New Knives, everybody. Today at Blade HQ, we've got some new stuff to talk about, including whatever the heck this thing is. Let's get into it. First knife on the table we have is the Superlative Knives Piranha. And this one, I'm not gonna lie, still scares me just a little bit because it's a very new mechanism. So, first of all, it's a cool design. Superlative is a company run by Jared Oser, uh, Javi Garcia, and Enrique Pena. So three very big fixtures in the custom knife world and their production knives are really cool. This one I think has the hallmarks of each of their styles and one of them is this mechanism. So instead of just flipping like a typical knife, this one uses magnets on a titanium frame and it rotates shut. So I'm sure there, if I carried this for a while, I could get to the point where I could open it one-handed and not be terrified, but I'm still terrified. That's okay. It's a really interesting knife. And what I think is excellent about it is it's a really, like, I know I just said I'm terrified of it, but it's a safer knife because I just handed it to our videographer over here who didn't quite know what he's looking at. And he's like, is it a flipper? Uh, is it an auto? Like, what is it? If I didn't know any better, I would not know this was a knife that opened like that. So this is a knife where if you have it in your pockets, it's unlikely that somebody with perhaps nefarious intentions would be able to open this thing. But when you need it, you can just pull it open and, you know, cut your package, open the champagne or slice the carrot or I don't know what you're doing with your knife. But this is a really cool one from a very cool designer and from a very cool mechanism. Just great knife all around. Has an M4 blade too, so it's gonna patina on you. That'll look really nice. My Carta inlays, titanium handle frame, goes for 284 at Blade HQ right now. Next up from Riotti, we have the new EXO coping blade. So this is their gravity knife. And to me, this is a coping blade. That's what we're calling it. Coping is a, aside from, you know, enduring the horrors on earth, which we all are good for. And may I recommend if you are enduring the horrors and you are coping in that way, perhaps a blade is not for you. However, if you are coping in the sense of carpentry, a coping blade is a great thing because this straight edge makes it really easy to touch up curves or, excuse me, edges, and they could be curved. But anything where it's flat and you need something very easy like you're on the table, it's just gonna be great for that sort of thing. I don't know if that was caught in camera at all. A little bit. A little bit, we'll run with it. Anyway, that is a coping blade and I think it's especially useful here on the Riotti XO. And this is why. This knife is one of the most interesting, fascinating knives the world has ever seen. A very clever design, a very intuitive design, and the problem is, is it's a gravity knife and sometimes those can terrify people. But I think when you have a coping blade, like that does not look weapon to me. That looks everyday carry utility to me. And I think that that really excels on a knife like this. That way you're getting all the fun action, but it's gonna be something that's a lot less terrifying to hand to a friend and let them play with. This one also comes with a leather sheath too. I know that sometimes people are like, there's no pocket clip. I'm just gonna carry a gravity knife in my pocket. There's a secondary lock, but if you don't, this one comes with a sheath. Very cool indeed. Those are going for 285. And I will note, these are a bit big. So if you prefer, I'd get the mini or the XO, I forget, there's three sizes of XOs now, but this one's a full 3.75 inch blade. That is a big old knife. I mean, I'll compare it to my Cold Steel 8010, which is also a big old knife, it's right there. By the way, I got new cool green liners for my buddy Nathan at Nathan Knives for this. It's fun. I've just been telling everybody because I'm excited about it. Anyway, Riotti, XO coping blade. Find them at Blade HQ. Next up, we have the Arcform Slimfoot Auto with some new variations. And for those of you that don't know, the Arcform Slimfoot Auto is OEM'd by ProTech. And ProTech makes the best autos, in my opinion. They're so good. But what I love is their anodized colors. And this purple just pops. I don't know how they get it so bright, so vivid. Such a good purple, and we have some Slimfoots in it. So we talked about these a lot before, so we won't get too deep into them. These are going for $200. Not too bad for a USA-made knife, Joff Blovel design. Very, very nice. 154 cm blade, aluminum handle, 3.125 inches, 7.25 overall. Great knife. Good job, Arcform, and good job, ProTech. Love those guys. Next up, from Flytanium, we have the UFO. And I did tease this earlier. This is not a knife. It's not really a training knife. Like, this, this is not a blade. 
It doesn't have any hooks here. It's not a bottle opener. It simply is. And UFO stands for Unidentified Flipping Object. And I think that that is about the best name you could ever give something like this because yeah, you can do tricks kind of like Bally's, but the balance isn't quite right for Balisong flipping because the blade isn't quite as long. There's no bite handle, there's no safe handle, there's no latch. So yes, a lot of the skills that you use for Bally flipping will apply here and you can practice a lot of your Bally tricks here. But at the end of the day, this is not a Balisong. This is not a knife, it's a thing. And I'll tell you what I think would be super awesome is if this replaced the tech deck as the go-to toy in junior highs. Because you can learn a lot of cool tricks. I mean, I think this is cooler than a Kendama. I'm probably gonna take some heat for that. But it's small, it's cheap, it's $18 at Blade HQ right now. And it's just fun. Learn all the cool tricks. Let's see if I can do anything cool. Whoa, woo, almost. Yeah, you can do the tricks, it's fun. It's a cool thing, $18, you can't go wrong. They get it confiscated at school, whatever, but that is not a knife, period. Nothing about that screams knife, and you'd be hard pressed to prove it otherwise. Anyway, next up, we have the Demco Armager series of fixed blades. And this one I heard about when my buddy Aaron at Gideon's Tactical did a review of these, or a video about these, and he said something to the effect of this competing with the Gerber Strong Arm, which is quite the thing to say, but hear me out on this. So you got a nice grippy, rubbery handle, much like the strong arm has. A full rat tang, I guess you'd call it, where it extends out the back so you have a strike pommel. It's a little bit smaller, but instead of the 420 blade, you're getting 80 CRV2. So a very nice, tough carbon steel, and then a very interesting sheath. And I think the gold star of the strong arm is the sheath, but the Armager sheath Maybe it doesn't come with as many mounting options right out of the back box, but it is a patented mechanism where you can pull off these sides and take apart the entire sheath to clean it. And then when you put it back together, still nice Kydex-like snap. Very cool knife. And for a very solid price too, $74.99. And it comes in a bunch of different blade shapes and a few different colors too. So if you're looking for like that field tactical knife, maybe you want to trim it down, do something fairly lightweight, but still tough enough to take whatever it is you're up to. I would very much check out the Demco Armager series. Keeping it with Demco, we have the 8020.5 next with the slicer blade. This is our exclusive. So there's Ultim and Gray G10, I wanna say, and they all have this slicer blade shape. And that one is one that you've seen on Demco Customs before, and this is the first time we get to see it on a production knife, and I am loving it. This is the one I would get if I were in the market for an 8020.5 right now. And I honestly might just be. My wife told me to get myself a knife for Christmas and it could just be this one. Anyway, this is cool. It's the 8020.5 you've come to know and love, but the upgraded blade steel straight out of the box and this very nice blade shape. Very slicey, a fairly high saber grind, so it's gonna be great for food prep or whatever. For my style of cutting and what I do every day, I think this would be the blade shape for me. It goes for $299.95 and I'd get those sooner than later. I don't know about reorder status or anything, but they're here and they're awesome. And then next up, last on the table, we have new from Viper Knives, the Basic One. So the Basic Series is a Tommaso Ramici. I think it's sort of a upsized version of the Berus line, and I love the Berus. But this one speaks to my soul in a deep way. So it's got the nice crown spines like all the Italian companies do so well. Very comfortable satin finished magna cut blade, black micarta handles with these pass throughs, and this kydex sheath that is just the perfect thing. It's nice, it covers and detains well, but it's not too much kydex. And then a Vega holster clip on the back. It reminds me of a tech lock. It functions in a similar fashion. It locks in a bit of a different mechanism though, but it'll hold on your belt. But then you could pop this off and do an ulti clip or whatever, carry it in pocket. Just a great size, 3.875 inches on the blade, eight inches overall, a very, very good knife for a very good price too of $229.95. Something you'll have to save your pennies for, but this is the kind of knife that I'd bet my life on. If I only could carry this knife for the rest of my life, I probably would be happy. And that's just the way it goes with those Rumichi designs. They're so good. Anyway, that's New Knives for the Week. We hope you've enjoyed and we'll catch you next time.